So I'm going to try and show you some uh, easy but uh, really strong knots that I use in Norway. These 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 knots can be tied quite easily, especially if you're rocking and rolling around on the boat. And uh, all these knots are 100% knots, so uh, you know they work. Uh, and the first one is um, a two-loop clinch, or some people may call it a nail knot. But it's quite straightforward and it, I, this was shown to me by a really experienced uh, charter skipper and apparently you'd be able to tie this with 600 pound mono no problem at all and it doesn't need any lubrication either so uh, it doesn't burn the line when you when you slide the knot through, back through but basically you take uh, your end through the, the eye and give yourself about six inches of tag on the end there and I'll try and get this as uh, close as I can for you and then with the loop, clamp the loop between your forefinger and your thumb, but extend the thumb further forward. And then take the tag end and take it around the back of the main line and wrap it around your thumb once, twice, and then with the tag end, try and take it down back up through the two loops over the top of your thumb like so you can just see that so i put it back up between the two and it should pull together a little bit nicely and it should give you like a figure of eight sort of thing and then just hold on to the knot because it'll slide up and down and just slowly pu pull the tag a bit pull the main line a bit pull the tag a little bit hold the two together Give them a pull and tighten that knot up. Now there's no lubrication now. And nice and slowly, just hold on to the tag end, but slide the main line back down towards the knot. And then when you get close to there, pull on the main line and you'll see, if I can show you, you'll see that it'll start to twist around on itself and pull. And I've no need to, to, to lube that at all. Just gonna give it a little tug on you. One last pull. And that is as strong as not as you'll ever get. And the more you pull on it, the tighter it gets. And, and, and like I say, you, apparently you can tie this up in 600 pound mono with ease. So that's a quick and easy one. Take the tag end off. job done and that will not fail okay so another lot I like to use a lot um, I especially tie this one on um, on circle hooks and stuff is polymer knot uh, and this is also quite straightforward just so turn a loop in your main line good six inches of tag sticking out and then pass the loop through the eye of whatever it is put a bit of excess through a good bit of length there Take your loop and then tie it back around the tag and the main line to create a second loop. If you can see that, there's a second loop there. Then pass the end of whatever the component is back through that loop. And then just give that a little tweak there so you can see it all coming together. Now that you need to pull very slowly on the tag and the main line so she starts to tighten up. You've got to watch this bottom little loop here. This guy's going to keep on trying to flick down. That needs to stay above the eye of whatever it is you tie in. So I use my fingernail, my thumbnail there just to keep that loop from riding down all the time. Give it another little bit of a tweak up by pulling the two lines. A little bit of loop. And then I'm just going to pull a tag a little bit just to get that loop to stay above it's got to stay above the eye okay and then once that tags pulled through a little bit to get all of the two of them give it a bit of a wiggly wiggly and give it a good pull on the both both lines and then just to finish off a bit of a pull together and then pull that back up and there's your polymer knot Again, 100% knot, will not fail. 
and then you also get two strands around the eye which gives it a bit more bit more bit more strength down at that end of the thing take the tag away if you can see that that will not come undone third uh, not tight knot I try I use is a, a standard grinner knot really again class is 100% knot it can't come undone so you know you just pass your tag end through the eye six inches of tag or so and then double the two lines together you can see there clamp the two lines at the top and then with a the tag end take it back and loop it around the two lines once twice three times hold on to the tag end get a little bit of wet clamp the tag and the main line together and just um just pull nice and gently so you can see that that loop is starting to twist around and then let go of the tag end and slowly pull the main line down until the knot hits the eye there. Just going to give it a little pull on the tag. Just tighten it up a bit more. And then pull on your main line and you'll see those loops start to come together. And twist one over top of the other until they clinch. There we go. And give it a real good pull. And there, there you have it. Again, that will not fail. It can't come undone. Class is 100% not. And just take the tag end off again. And there you go. Simple as that. So the last knot I'm going to uh, show you to, today is for joining um, your leaders to your braid. I don't do this much anymore. I tend to join with terminal tackle these days, but. This is quite an easy, straightforward one to try and remember. It's called Alberto knot. So basically, make a loop in your leader with a good uh, six inch tag. And then take your braid and pass it through the loop. Give yourself a good, uh, good length of tag there. And then just um, clamp those two together and then with the braid start to wrap it around your leader line both lengths go once twice three four five six seven and then when you got to number seven just clamp all of the end Take this hand away and then take the, the braid tag and then go back the opposite direction once twice three four five and then take it back through the loop of the lead up but make sure it's on the opposite side i'll show you now so when it comes through you got one going through one side of the loop and one going through the other side. That's important that they go through on opposite sides when you pull them back through. All right, and then just give it a bit of wet. And then just pull the braids tag and and, and, and the, uh, the uh, main line just a little bit. And then just start to push those twists further up and then pull on the braid push it up a bit more, pull on the braid until you get to something like that. And then I'm just going to wrap my hand a second with, with a sock. I'll cut myself to bits. And then on the braid main line, make sure you get a good grip on it. And then also on the leader main line, get a good grip. And now pull them apart. So one pulls over the other, one time, a couple of times get a real good pull, real good pull, okay, 
and get rid of Mr. Socky. And then you should end up with something looking like that. And then just take away your tag ends. from my taggy cuts and that's what you should end up with and that should not fail you so I'll have a go at that one hope those uh, knots might help you out a little bit like I say they're all straightforward and easy to tie especially if you're rocking and rolling on the sea and um, hopefully we'll get to go traveling again soon